Hello and welcome to Kit Plus TV, supported by Media Proxy. Now, as you can see, uh, unless of course you're listening to our podcast, we're in our Las Vegas themed studio this month uh, as we approach NAB, which is running from 24th to 27th of April in Las Vegas, uh, which of course we're really looking forward to. Yeah, today's guest is a regular on Kit Plus TV, and we're delighted to welcome Yvonne Monteroso from Tejiro. Hi, Yvonne, good to see you. Hello, thanks for so, having me. We've been chatting to you virtually for the last two years or so with, with many innovations and, and new releases. How excited are we actually to get in front of real people again? <laughs> Unbelievably excited. It'll be so great to see yeah. our customers and our partners in real life and recognize that we're all still 3D people. So what can um, NAB booth visitors look forward to um, seeing on the DeGiro stand at this year's NAB, Yvonne? So we'll be showcasing our, our new Engo 265 that we launched earlier this year. It's been specifically designed for news broadcasters with major improvements in reliability that allow us to go as low as a half second latency. That, that low latency is really a, an output of that increased reliability that we've put into our algorithm. But perhaps most exciting about the Engo 265 is that it's now a two-in-one transmitter and internet gateway. We see this revolutionizing um, broadcast workflows with unprecedented mobile connectivity speeds in the field. Um, it really allows more natural talkbacks at a lower latency. It streamlines that communication and it allows field crews to just do a lot more remotely than what they could previously do in the field. You'll also, of course, have the opportunity to see our whole product line and a sneak peek into some products that we'll be announcing later this year. So I, I, I think the last NAB was 2019. So how have your customers' needs changed since we were last at, at NAB? Well, I think everybody's seen some shifts with the pandemic. So what we've seen is there's been uh, a greater need for on-the-fly collaboration. We've seen an acceleration to remote and virtual and cloud production. So as as everyone's aware, there's been some really dramatic changes in the last two years that have been really accelerated by the pandemic. What we're able to mm. exhibit at NAB with the NGO 265 and the gateway mode really speaks to providing that first and last mile connectivity to support all of those remote collaborations. And it's not only for the production of live news and elections and sports coverage that we're seeing this, but we're also seeing a lot more in the TV, film and commercial production areas. So we have uh, a number of uh, examples of customers across uh, Brazil and the US and, and Europe as well, who are starting to do a lot more in terms of this cinematic production. We've seen um, a lot of big name brand commercials happening um, in terms of how they're able to uh, enable an ins that instant remote collaboration across people who aren't on, on site for the, for the actual shoot. And it really opens up the possibilities in terms of where they're able to go in terms of locations. They've been able to reduce resources, time and costs. So we've seen even as things are opening back up, people are using these types of workflows to achieve a lot of efficiency and time savings that they previously weren't before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So it's really opened up uh, a lot of yeah. new workflows that are being adopted as the, the go-to workflows now. <clears throat> yeah, I, th I think it's going to be a really interesting show because not only is it you know, the first NAB in two years, but it's there's been so many product launches in that period of time and um, technologies have evolved really quickly, haven't they? Um, so what, what do you think, taking that on board, what, what do you think DeGiro's key messages are going to be for the show? So we continue to be focused, as always, on reliability and performance and connectivity. We are your connection from the field to your station, to your, your people uh, elsewhere. And so while there's a lot of buzzwords and trends circling the industry, we are continuing to grow and evolve, keeping our eye on delivering the best designs to meet the needs of broadcasters. So whether that means increasing their productivity in the field, ensuring they have the absolute most reliable connection and most resilient connection, um, those are the pieces that we're really focused on. 
Perhaps one of the new themes that we've been focusing on this year is really around security. So using that AES-256 encryption, having a locked down operating system, we're really focusing on how do we make sure that uh, we're meeting the needs of both IT teams and the, the production team in terms of securing their communications and their video. So I guess finally the only, only thing to really ask is, apart from, apart from seeing us, of course, what are you looking forward to most at the show this year? Oh, that's easy. I'm so very excited to have the opportunity to meet face to face with the awesome people in our community um, and really just have the chance to walk the floor and see, as you said, the exciting uh, new launches, the new innovations that that our community is are really driving forward. And, and just to see that firsthand, it's it's amazing to have that opportunity again. I think we took it for granted previously. Mm, absolutely. Where can, um, where can people find out more, Yvonne, and where can they find you um, at the show? They can find out more at DeGiro.com. And at the show, they can find us at booth. Uh, they just changed our booth uh, number, <laughs> but our new booth <laughs> number is W2822. So that's in the West Hall, 2822. Fantastic. That's the, the, the brand I new hall as well. there's going to be changes yeah. all the way, isn't there? Yeah, it is. Yeah. I think with the pandemic, we've all learned to adjust and roll with the the different changes as they come. Yeah, absolutely. Thank They'll you very much, you. Yvonne. Thank you very much. Thank Good you. to see you. And of course, we're looking forward to spending time with uh, you and the team over at this show later this month. Um, thank you Wonderful. very much to Media Proxy for their support at Kipos TV. And thank you for watching. Do subscribe to the channel and download the podcast where you can hear all the unedited content from this interview. You can also find that at kitpuscom forward slash podcast or just search your podcast directory for Kipos. We will see you next time. Fantastic. And we're out. <laughs> we're done. Thanks, Yvonne. Good. Cool. Have you one, hit one, one hit wonder? No, one hit wonder. That's negative. One take wonder. <laughs> one take wonder, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. She, she might be a one hit wonder as well. No, actually, you've been here more than once, so you're not a one hit wonder. I, I've been on the show many, many times. I'm not sure if I've got any hits or not yet, though. <laughs> no, 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 Yeah. Is it, well, is it it's actually team? a dangerous uh, compliment, that one. Yeah, yeah. go on. Is there a big team going over to the show, Yvonne? Or? Uh, we have a decent-sized team. I think that there's uh, enough folks going that uh, we have a slightly smaller booth this year. Um, just with everything going on, they felt that that was the best approach. But, um, mm. yeah, it's a decent-sized team that's going to be there. Good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the new West Hall. It's going to be uh, going to be a bit weird going across a bridge to get to a hall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and not going to South, you know that yes. that but, venture to South Upper that used to be like, yes. am I? Am, yeah. Is this oh. show is this? Am I venturing into nowhere land? <laughs> <laughs> but I think you now you now have a uh, there's I, I think it's only a demo, but instead of getting the bridge, I think you can actually get the Tesla tunnel as well, which is oh. a fully automated tunnel. I think it's to the west, or I, I, I don't know for sure till we get there, but. I think there's a Tesla tunnel, which is completely like autonomous. Teslas just keep driving cars and you get oh, in wow. and get out and there's no driver. And there's also the Hyperloop. There's a demo Hyperloop there, I think, this year. So, you know, the the the, the, the Elon Musk thing where they send you a, a million mile an hour or whatever it is through a tube, like, like they used to do in the <laughs> department stores with money. <laughs> you know. I don't know um, if you're messing so with me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I call it any other kind of hype, but there's definitely was Virgin thing, or on Was that the thing they were trying mask. to get across yeah. the Nevada desert? They were doing tests in a desert. I think it is, yeah. 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 yeah so it's over there somewhere. It's it's I I don't know where but it's there somewhere. You can well, I'm, I'm, it's somewhere I'm gonna around, I'm, sure. I'm I'm gonna check where the Tesla is going before I get in a driver's car. I, I might end up west of somewhere other than the West Hall. Anyway. <laughs> All very good. Sounds like we're stepping into the future in this first NAB. Indeed, we are. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks so much there you for go. having There's me. There's a tagline. Really yeah, appreciate we'll, it. We'll Another see tool. you in a couple of weeks' time. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, take care. Have take safe care. travels. Yeah, bye bye. Take care. Bye bye.